OMG, I am so excited to show you this super simple project that I did. DIY silicone molds using only two ingredients and they work fabulous. Stick around so that you can see how simple it is. Okay, so here's the items that you're going to need. You need 100% silicone, cornstarch, gloves to protect your hands, a bowl to mix in, something to stir with, a caulking gun or a paint roller, which you'll see me use, acrylic paint or food coloring, totally optional if you want to change the color, and then items to mold. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Okay, this is the cornstarch I got off of Amazon and the silicone. You want to make sure that it says 100% silicone. The stir stick, the bowl. And as I said, I don't have a caulking gun. So I found the next best thing, which just so happened to be a paint roller. It fits perfectly into the tube of caulking. So you'll take a little bit of cornstarch just to cover the bottom of your dish. Squeeze your, your silicone into the bowl. And then I cover mine with, with saran wrap just to keep it from drying out. Put some more cornstarch on the top. It's about one to one ratio, but it, it's really just a mixture. You just Once you start playing with it, you'll see. You don't want the silicone to be sticky at all. So that's the point of adding the powder into it. I've also seen this done with baby powder or marble dust. I have not tried that myself, but I would guess that it would work. But we're going to we're going to stick with the cornstarch cuz I have 3 and a half pounds of it. So <laughs> which was only $11 on Amazon I might add. Which I can put that link in the description box to the silicone and the cornstarch for you. So it'll make it so much easier. One stop shop. Okay, so after you stir it up quite a bit into the bowl, get it to where it's not super sticky, but it's still a little bit sticky. Put the cornstarch down on your, on your table before you put your silicone mixture on there because it is still sticky. And then you're going to just cover it with the cornstarch, cover your fingers or your gloves with cornstarch also, or else it's just going to stick all over your gloves. And you just start kneading it. Just start squeezing it together, mixing that cornstarch into the silicone. You want the, the cornstarch to touch all of the silicone so that there's no sticky to it. Once that stickiness is gone, then you can spread your, your mixture which it's like Play-Doh. That's the consistency, really. It's like a Play-Doh mixture. Mix it out, or mi mix it up, spread it out, and then put a little cornstarch on top before you put any of your molded items on top. If you don't, it will adhere to your items, and you may not be able to get those items back out of the silicone mixture. So make sure that you put that cornstarch on there and that'll keep it from sticking to your items. I'm using a few different chains, just different um, metal trinkets. Um, let's see, I have a, key, a couple keys that I got out. And you wanna push them down. You don't wanna make the, you don't wanna make your mixture too thin. Um, let's see, we'll call it a mold, cause right now it's, it's uh, in mold texture. Okay, so you don't want to make your mold too thin because if you do, when you push your items down in there, they're going to go straight through to your glass. And then you're not going to be able to put anything into the mold after it's done. On this one, I actually did push 
the rope that's in the center, I pushed it a little too hard and it did go down all the way to the glass. And I will show you that. Then I have a, a pellet knife or, you know, a spatula, anything to slide underneath it. You don't want it to stick to your desk, obviously. So that's why we put the cornstarch down first before we pushed the, the mixture out on the desk. Now this cures very, very quickly, okay? This is time elapsed times four, I believe. So, but it's still very quick. I mean, within 10 minutes, it's set. It's ready to go. I would take my fingernail and push it into the corner or the edge of my, my mold. And if it still leaves a mark, it's not quite set yet. If it doesn't leave a mark, then it's set. So now I'm trying to pull this stuff out that I put in just to, you know, see the shapes here. Mine is almost ready. I probably should have given it just a couple more minutes, but I was so super excited to see how this was going to work. I, I did a live stream with this, and you can go back and watch that. Um, it was... It was very fun. It was very um, educational. We'll put it that way. So, but then I said I was going to use the rest of the silicone that I had in my tube to make some molds to do a quick upload so you guys could watch it without having to listen to all the chit chat too. Okay, so you can see there some of the, some of the things turned out really well and some of them not so much. But right there you can see I pushed the rope in just a little bit too far and it split the mold. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our next batch. I just keep going. I keep mixing it so you can watch the mixture, how I do it from mold to mold to mold. I wanted to make as many molds as I had items out. I wanted to mold everything that I had out, which I still didn't get to everything because I didn't get to mold the light bulb yet because I needed a bigger dish. So obviously, you know, if you want to make a big mold, you need a big dish. If you want to make a small mold, then use a small dish. I do have a larger dish now, so I may add that later. And I almost forgot to mention, make sure that you are in a well-ventilated area. I will go back and put this in there um, in words in the beginning, so hopefully you did see that part by the time you're at this part. But make sure, I do it in my craft room, but I open the window that's right in front of me. The silicone is very strong. It smells like vinegar. I mean, super, super strong. So wear a mask or open a window, do it outdoors, something to where you're not breathing this strong scent in because it's so strong. Okay, so on this one, I decided to add a little bit of my pink acrylic paint. Now, during my live stream, I used food coloring. So if you want to see how that turned out, you can watch the live stream. Um, but I did not use food or yeah, I did not use the food coloring during this upload. It so OK, so the science of it, there's some some scientific stuff behind it. I'm not very scientific, so I don't know exactly what it is, but I do know from the information that I've gathered the silicone uses moisture to cure. Okay, so it absorbs the moisture. So putting the paint in there, it's obviously a thicker liquid, you know, so it's gonna, it's gonna cure slower than if you use the food coloring. If you put the food coloring in, it's going to cure super quickly. And I was running into that problem. During my live stream, it was curing so quickly that I wasn't even able to stick all of my items into the mold before it was already cured. So during this upload, I decided I'm gonna try to use the acrylic paint and see how that works. And it worked okay, uh, you know, it, it still cured pretty quickly, but I, I tried to do smaller molds, I guess. But if you don't use any coloring at all, they're just white. They're not clear, they're not a funky color, you know, they're just white molds. So the color doesn't bother me at all. I don't care what color it is. Actually, in one of the molds that we did on the live stream, it turned out to look kind of like bacon. <laughs> or um, pastrami. Is that, I think that was the other thing that we had come up with. Oh my goodness, it was, it was hilarious. But 
I may use those for Halloween projects coming up. But anyway, back to this. I'm showing you here that you can clean out your dish. So once you, once you set your dish down and it dries, you can easily pull the silicone straight out of the plastic and keep reusing the same bowl and the same stir stick. I, and I don't clean it out every time. I wait for it to build up. So I use this dish twice now um, before I cleaned it out. So it's not necessary at all. I mean, you can still mix it up just fine, even if there is stuff left in the dish. But it, it does peel off very simple, very simply, very easily. That sounds better. There we go. <laughs> so I get it clean, and then we'll start another batch. In the meantime, I'm letting the other two cure. Actually, oh, look, you can see the bacon pastrami stuff right there on the bottom right hand corner of the screen that's a little bit of it now the the cornstarch that has chunks in it I I try to get that off of my desk because I don't want to mix that back into my mixture so that's just me um, so I decided to go ahead and open another tube of the silicone because I was so super excited about how well these were turning out so I cut the tip off stick the screwdriver down inside of there to break that seal and clean the silicone off immediately so I don't have to deal with that later. Stick that paint roller in and, and squish it out into the bowl that has the cornstarch just covering the bottom of the dish. Cover it with the, the saran wrap. Put a little bit of paint in there. I'm going to give it one more go here. The deco art. And this is metallic paint. I do not notice a metallic sheen in these molds at all. And I'm sure that it's because of the cornstarch, you know, it just, it lost that metallic look. So it doesn't matter what type of paint you use. Um, I mean, acrylic, of course, you want to use acrylic, but it doesn't matter if it's metallic or matte or gloss or whatever. It's going to look the same regardless. It's just going to have the color in it. And honestly, it looks more red than it does pink anyway. And the, the color that I'm using is called pink tourmaline. And it's the Deco Art Sheen. So you just mix it up pretty good, get it out there on the on the desk on top of the cornstarch. Now I stick my stick into my cornstarch container because that way it covers the silicone that is sticky. And then that way it's easier to work with. It's easier for me to stick it back into the bowl and everything is not sticking to the stick constantly. So I stick my fingers in the tub a lot. I stick my stick into the tub a lot um, just to get that the cornstarch on there. And then you just mix her up. I probably will. If you guys want to see more of, of how I'm going to do it with a bigger dish, I will probably go ahead and um, record that also. So if you want to see another upload with bigger molds, leave it in the comments below. If not, leave it in the comments below and let me know. So this Cameo, okay, I tried this Cameo and I'm not sure how I feel about it because it is very big and I put the corn, I put it in the cornstarch and it stuck to the Cameo, like a chunk of it. So then when I stuck it into the mold, it made it look weird. So that's why I, I folded it up again and and tried it a second time. I also needed for it to be a little bit thicker than what I originally had it. So I made sure that it was a little bit thicker. I'm using a charm. I'm using a um, two different earrings, the infinity sign and the word dream. I have those are those are both earrings. And then the cameo is a pen, and then the trinket heart is a steampunk heart, and then the witch is a little charm. And they're all metal. The cameo has some kind of plastic on it, or acrylic or something. It's not all completely metal. Those little, that, the silverware set turned out so cute. Now, it's not very deep. So that's my only concern is I wasn't able to get it very deep, but that's okay. I think it's still going to turn out great. So I cleaned up my mess and started fresh. We're doing it again here. 
same steps. Cornstarch in the bottom of the dish to cover the bottom of the bowl. Put the silicone in. Put more cornstarch on top. Stir it up. Put some cornstarch out on your surface. And then take your mixture. Put it on the cornstarch. Make sure you have your gloves on. You don't want silicone stuck to your hands. And then put cornstarch on top and start mixing her up. And you just keep and keep mixing. Keep squeezing, keep kneading until there isn't sticky left. Now this one, those crossbones, those are plastic, I believe. And they came out just fine. But you want to make sure that you put a little bit of cornstarch over the top of your surface of your mold before you push your item in. That little plastic sword, that is, I think, a kid's toy. It is a very flimsy plastic sword, <laughs> and it turned out great. So now we're going to pop these out here, and it, it, it cures so quickly, so quickly. By the time you're done with one, the one that you just did is already ready to go. So you can really rip through these very quickly. Now the, the cornstarch does stick to the bottom of them pretty thick. So I would brush it off with my fingers. I would use the pellet knife to kind of brush it off. Um, then I got a wet paper towel and wiped the bottom of it. This time I just took my spray bottle and spritzed a little bit of water on the top because I'm going to use some hot glue to try to see what these look like. I use the Gorilla Glue Sticks. Um, I want to see how it's going to turn out. So when I put the hot glue in there, it gets a lot of air bubbles. Okay, now these molds you can use everything on. I really am excited to use my paper clay on these molds. I think that those are going to turn out way better. But I did play around with the hot glue for a little bit just to just to kind of show you what it looks like you know how simple it really is so I put the the hot glue in there in some of my other silicone molds when I put the hot glue in there and there's air bubbles in it I'll use my heat gun and heat it up and it'll make it hot enough that those air bubbles will come to the top on this one that didn't work the air bubbles stayed there and you can see it right there I mean they're just they're in there and the hot glue looks a little bit brown or yellow in the in the um, center there because my hot glue had sat in my hot glue gun for a while okay so this one we're gonna start popping these out and I put them in a separate cup because obviously I'm gonna have to wash off all of the items that I use to mold after I'm done because now they're all covered in cornstarch this one I think is one of my favorite ones that I did out of all of the ones that I did live stream and on here I think this is one of my favorite ones that I did so I, I was super excited to put some hot glue on this one just to see what they looked like and they all turned out really good I don't know that I showed every single one of them after I popped the hot glue out but they all turned out really good and once you cover them with some type of paint or gesso or medium or you know some type of medium you're not going to be able to tell what they're made of so you're not going to be able to tell if they're hot glue you're not going to be able to tell if they're metal you're not going to be able to tell if they're chipboard you're not going to be able to tell if they're paper clay you know I mean they're just they're fabulous and the detail oh the detail the detail is so good so I'm just showing one more time here, the cornstarch, the silicone. And the procedure. And this time I use, um, oh, I forget the name of it. Blue, blue turquoise, I think maybe the name of it, but it's also the deco art sheen metallic paint and this one made it a very pretty color but 
put my gloves on so I don't mess up my nails. And get the cornstarch all over my gloves so hopefully it won't stick to my fingers. And now this time I use two sticks instead of my fingers. You know, I'm learning. I'm learning as I go. So instead of using your fingers, use two sticks and then it won't stick to your fingers when you're trying to clean off your stir stick. Now this was a very intricate pin, P-I-N, very intricate. And oh my goodness, wait until you see what, what this did. It's an angel. Now as I'm putting these on here, I'm trying to think, okay, which ones do I want to mold with these items? So I started pulling out a few different things out of my dish that I had already used. I was going to try to use that metal pumpkin, but it's a bell. And I was kind of worried that that would mess up. But just in this short time of me putting these items on here, it started to cure already. So when I'm trying to push this cameo clip on earring into the mold, it was not wanting to go down in the mold because it was already starting to cure. So I used that necklace as a heart locket and a key on it. And I used both of those. I don't think that it that it molded those very well though. I think I got them on there a wee bit too late. But that's okay because the other ones turned out really well. And again, I just spritzed it with water, wiped the back of it off a little bit, and I'm just popping them out. And see, I knew that I could pop them out, that they were pretty cured already, or then the mold was pretty cured already because when I was trying to put the locket and the key on there, it didn't want to do it. Look at that angel. Oh my gosh, it turned out so good. This one, this one turned out great too, except for the locket and the key and the cameo a little bit. But see when I push my fingernail in there, there's no marks. So there you go. There you go. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to see a bigger batch, I will be more than happy to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys.